Melora is the 26th episode of the American syndicated science fiction television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the sixth episode of the second season. In this episode, a young officer from a low-gravity planet is assigned to DS9, Dr. Bashir assists her in adapting to the station's normal gravity. Plot Starfleet officer Melora Pazla Daphne Ashbrick, an Alasian whose species physiology is incompatible with the strength of artificial gravity found on most humanoid communities including Deep Space Nine, arrives on the station. She must use external mechanical apparatus to exist comfortably on the station. Because of her physical condition, Melora is argumentative, even rude, in insisting that she not be shown any undue accommodation. Nevertheless, Dr. Julian Bashir Alexander Siddig sees through Melora's barriers and the two become romantically involved. Meanwhile, just as Quark Armin Shimmerman is about to conclude a deal over some historical relics with a man named Ashrock Don Stark, Fallot Cott Peter Crombie walks into his bar. The two have history, with Cott declaring to Quark that he is on DS9 to settle certain debts. However, when questioned by Security Chief Odo René Aubergenois, Cot denies any ill intentions toward the Ferengi. Bashir develops a medical procedure that could allow Melora to comfortably walk without the help of any of the equipment she currently uses. Even after successfully participating in tests of Bashir's new engineering technique, Melora has misgivings. If she goes through with the procedure, she will no longer be able to live in the low gravity environment of her home world. Lieutenant Jadzia Dax, Terry Farrell, during a survey mission with Melora to the Gamma Quadrant, compares her predicament to that of the Little Mermaid. Cot attacks Quark in his quarters, but Quark offers him 199 bars of gold pressed latinum in exchange for his life. Cot takes the deal, and they go to meet Ashrock at an airlock. Quark's deal is closed, but Cot shoots Ashrock and takes the relics in addition to the latinum. Cot forces the Ferengi to go with him, and they come across Melora and Dax, who are returning from their survey. Cot takes all three hostage aboard the runabout Orinoco. Commander Benjamin Sisko Avery Brooks orders the runabout to be held in a tractor beam. Cot demands they be released, shooting Melora to prove his point. Sisko lets them go, but takes Bashir and Chief Miles O'Brien with him in the runabout Rio Grande. They pursue Orinoco through the Bajoran wormhole. Cot orders Dax to fire on the Rio Grande but as she refuses, she notices that Melora is not only still alive, but crawling toward a console controlling the ship's gravity. In her element after shutting down the gravity, Melora overpowers Cot, who is taken into custody. After finally deciding against going through with Julian's procedure, Melora and Julian enjoy the Klingon chef's Ron Taylor serenade at the restaurant where they had their first date. <laughs> 